Howdy! In this video, I'll show you the features of the new updated CD space switch constraint. Now, this uh, constraint has been totally rewritten, so it's not really compatible with the previous version. Uh, one of the best new features of the uh, update is that it now supports timeline scrubbing. You see, I can scrub the timeline and the uh, constrained object uh, never loses its position. Um, also, the uh, older version, you switched between the coordinate spaces by uh, changing the value of the mix parameter. Well, in this updated version, uh, you simply use a pop-up menu to switch between the different coordinate spaces. This means that switching between the different coordinate spaces will require fewer animation keys. So let's take a look at how you'd set up an animation with the new version. Here I have a scene ready to be animated and I've already place some markers here in the timeline of where I want to set the keys. So uh, first let's uh, set this constraint up on the uh, sphere. So we'll select the sphere, shift select the three cubes, and we'll call the setup command. And you can see it placed the constraint on the object and placed the targets in the proper links. So, uh, first of all, we'll start here with cube number one, and we'll set a key in its starting position. And then we'll move to the first marker, and at that point the cube will come down to pick up the sphere, so we'll move it down and set another key. And here we want to also set a key for the sphere. And we want to, at this point, switch to the uh, coordinate space of cube number one and set a key. Oh, uh, actually I need to come back here and set a key for the sphere's coordinate space at the beginning. There we go. Now we'll move to the next marker. And at this point, we want the cube to simply return to its uh, original position. So we'll just control click this key to copy it over to that frame. There we go. Now we'll move to the next marker. And at this point, the first cube will rotate 90 degrees to the right and transfer the sphere to the second cube. So let's uh, rotate it negative 90 and we'll move it in closer so that the second cube can pick up the sphere and we'll set a key. Now if you notice the position of the cube kind of moves on a spline there. and We really want that movement to be linear. So uh, what we'll do is select the position track and set it to linear. There we go. That's the kind of movement we want. Oh, looks like we need to do the same to the rotation track. There we go. That's what we want. Now, uh, the middle cube, what we want it to do is rotate 90 degrees to the left to pick up the uh, sphere. So let's go back. Yeah, let's close that up. And at this point, we want to set a key, a starting key for the middle cube. So let's. Uh, Let's set a key. And then we'll go back to this frame and we'll rotate 
the middle one positive 90 degrees and set a key. Now here where we switch the space uh, we also want to set a key for the sphere and we'll switch to cube 2 coordinate space and set another key. Okay, let's move on to the next uh, marker and at this point the middle cube will rotate 180 degrees around so it can transfer the sphere to the third cube. So we'll add 180 degrees or actually subtract it and set a key. There we go. Now at this point we want the third cube to rotate 90 degrees to the left and move in to pick up the sphere. So let's go back to here and we'll set a starting key for the third cube and we'll move back forward and here we'll rotate the cube 90 degrees and we'll move it in to pick up the sphere and also uh, oh let's set a key and here at this point we want to also set a key for the sphere and we'll switch to cube 3 coordinate space and set a key and we'll move forward to the next marker and at this point we want this cube number three to just return to its starting position so we'll just control drag this first key over to copy it and there we go now we'll move to the next marker and at this point we want the cube to uh, come down and drop the sphere off so we'll move the cube down set a key for the cube and we'll also set a key for the sphere and we'll switch the coordinate space back to the sphere and set a key and the um, what we'll do is we need the cube threes motion to be linear so we'll just select cube three and switch it to linear and then we'll move to the end frame and the uh, cube will just return back to its starting point so we'll just we'll just control drag its first key over to the end and there we have our animation